we have some liquid that is passing through a bend in a pipe we need to tell which of these two points pressure will be higher or lower or will it be equal so to discuss that let's take a element of liquid that is between these two points 1 and 2 so that liquid will be traveling like this and it will turn and go towards right so its velocity is going to change from here to here and this point which is below the element so let's call that 1 so let's say the pressure on this end of the liquid is P1 and on top end the pressure is P2. Now because it is turning like this we can say this layer of liquid has a centripetal acceleration towards O. Hence P1 has to be greater than P2 because the only force on this layer of liquid is because in this direction is because of pressure on this face minus pressure on this face times area and because we have taken a thin layer the areas are almost same so pressure on this side is greater than pressure on that side that's why it's turning towards the center O and it has centripetal acceleration so let's read whatever we have discussed let's take a thin layer of liquid passing through the bend as it's turning its centripetal acceleration is towards O therefore P1A is greater than P2A therefore P1 is greater than P2 and now if we use Bernoulli in those two points we can say V1 therefore is less than V2 so that is the first part and second part shape of streamlines so we know that when the velocity is uh, velocity is higher the streamlines are closer and we have seen v1 is less than v2 so here the velocity is less here the velocity is high so because the velocity is high here the streamlines will be closer so here the streamlines are evenly placed but as they come near the bend less streamlines will be here and denser streamlines will be here and as it moves away again they will become evenly distributed all right